This is Robert again uh, with another piano, as you just saw there, the Steinert. And uh, it's a piano with a pretty interesting history. Um, although Steinert is primarily a piano retailer, um, they got involved in making pianos at one point and uh, actually built some pretty good instruments. Um, you're looking at a five foot one Steinert here, and this is basically a copy of the Model S Steinway Baby Grand. And uh, this piano has uh, um, has been sold, or uh, how I like to term it, uh, sale pending, because it's not complete yet. But I will be uh, doing a restoration on this piano, and I wanted to uh, start with the intro video of the piano and just talk about a few things regarding the piano. Um, uh, to start with, uh, I wanted to, and I'm going to see how good I can do this, uh, holding the camera with one hand here. Um, I get calls from time to time from folks about um, doing jobs and want to do estimates and that sort of thing. And uh, I ask them to give me the size of the piano. So uh, I ask them to take a measurement, and uh, many times they're not quite sure how to measure the piano. And what will end up happening is they'll get a measurement, say, stopping the tape measure here, starting it here. And this is where you should start it. You should start at the furthest part, the back of the piano. You know, she got a curve there. You wouldn't start it here or here. You want to look at the deepest part of the piano here at the back. And you just set your tape measure there. And if you got a nice clean finish on one, I would have two people do this. But basically, um, I'm going to do it with one hand here. And you should see it come out to about five foot one. And, uh, and that's about what you see there, about five foot one inch. And um, and that is uh, basically what the Model S is. But that's that's how you measure the piano to the very front of the keyboard here, as you saw when I had the tape measure, very front of the keys. Um, but just a couple of details regarding this piano that I wanted to touch on before starting is uh, the hardware, first of all. And you can see here on the pedal liar that it uh, is a bunch of parts on this piano are copies of the uh, Steinway style. You'll see the uh, metal plate on the front of the pedals. And this particular piano has nickel hardware, which um, it really, I really like to do these and, and uh, replate the nickel because it's so pretty when complete and the hardware is as new, restored as new. And that's what's going to be the case here. Uh, the customer here has opted to go ahead and restore this. Um, sometimes this nickel hardware can be polished a little bit, but uh, to regain that luster, it's very tough because in most cases, nickel is just uh, plating over brass. So over time, it'll wear off. And that's what you're left with. So that's a shot of the pedals there. I didn't even bother putting those on the piano. And you can see the spine here of the lid hinge. Let me go ahead and raise this up. Um, and with all the other parts, nickel screws and everything, the uh, stand, music desk, and the music desk holder here is also nickel, as you can see here. Um, just a quick shot of this lid hinge for this piano uh, with the corrosion on it. That's going to be replated and will be looking brand new here in a few weeks. So I want to just uh, give you a quick shot of these. And I may do some side-by-side -side comparisons here just, just so you can see uh, the style of music rack. And there are a little bit of differences here and there on this piano and from the Steinway, but um, so many similarities. And, and if you do a search on the internet, you'd see, see the same mention. 
but uh, in any case, uh, let me just, I'm going to go up and down to keep it. So, uh, you know, some regulation is at hand on this piano, but, uh, you know, when I picked this piano up, uh, it's basically playable uh, with some uh, regulation work. Um, and then on the inside, uh, just a quick look at the hammers. The hammers are in, in real good shape. Uh, dusty, but uh, good shape. And uh, the work that I'll be doing on this, I'm going to be replacing all of this stuff, um, with the exception of the hammer felts. I'll be replacing the damper felts, likely. Um, and uh, I'll be pulling the plate out, uh, replacing all the strings. So it's going to and regilding the the plate so it's going to look like a new piano when it's uh when it's finished and will sound like one as well go ahead and raise the lid here um and take a look at the styling on the the uh prop stick and you can again tell a similarity in the shape now a style with prop stick will have uh, depending on the uh, uh, generation, uh, we'll have a section here. It's a little bit wider and have a section here with a small stick um, rest inside the large stick. And it just depends on which generation that you'll be looking at at the time. But I wanted to just, uh, for the for the customer, give a just a quick shot of the inside of the piano to let them take a look at it beforehand. And there you see the Steiner Boston. And, and if you would, you do a search on the internet and just take a look at the style of this, just this logo here, uh, the name here on the plate and how it's set, and compare that to the Steinway. Uh, I've been told by many that, and I don't know why folks would do this, but um, to pass their pianos off as sideways, they would uh, grind the name off here. And um, I guess uh, it may fool some folks, but um, you know, for a little bit of investigation, you, could, you can distinguish the difference between these two pianos. I've actually seen one that had that done to it. And um, I don't know why anyone would go to that trouble. The piano stands on its own well enough. But um, just wanted to kind of give a quick update. Even beneath the piano, I don't know if I'll get down and, and uh, show you anything underneath, but even inside, um, beneath the piano, on the bottom side, it's uh, it has some similarities in, in the construction. And uh, and that will... Um, um, even though there are similarities, a well-built piano is going to have um, nice thick beams and uh, a, a heavy case, a thick cabinet, uh, rim, outer rim, and that's what you find on this piano. So uh, that was just a quick overview and intro for this Steiner. I do want to point out a few things. You probably saw this without me even mentioning it, but... Um, here are some areas that I'm going to be needing to address specifically uh, on this piano, uh, some veneer missing here. You will notice how thick this veneer is. You won't see that on new pianos, um, at least the less expensive ones. You can see here in this profile how thick that veneer is. Um, I'll be replacing it with light veneer. But, um, it has it on both sides. Same issue on this side as well. And uh, some gluing I'll be doing on the legs. See some, uh, get out the shadow here. See some loose veneer here. So there's a little bit of loose veneer here. The, the finish is done on this piano. Uh, it will flake off if I rub it hard enough. So, uh, but that's not an issue. This is going to be completely redone. And um, 
when it's done, it's going to be a brand new piano for all intents and purposes. So that is the the intro for this piano. And um, if you have any comments or anything, I don't know how many folks have heard of Steiner. Uh, it's a retail out of Boston. And uh, if I remember correctly, they their company started in the 1860s, I want to say. And uh, uh, again, if I remember correctly, the oldest independent uh, Steinway retailer in the country. And um, I know one of the few continuous uh, Steinway uh, retailers. Uh, real rich history and um, real neat company. Um, so if you have any comments, uh, you can post them right here on this video. Uh, you're looking at this on Beavers Piano TV on uh, YouTube.com. Um, also, if you have a Twitter account, Twitter.com at Beavers Piano, I do have a forum. <clears throat> I have not been posting a lot there recently. I want to be getting some more stuff, content over on that forum uh, here in the next uh, couple of weeks. So uh, that's pianos.proboards.com. And uh, I have a Facebook uh, page, facebook.com slash piano rebuilder. So uh, if you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. If you have any stories about the Steinerts, I would uh, love to hear them as well. Uh, it's rare that you see these pianos. And usually, uh, as I've been told and have experienced, uh, the Steinert pianos usually stay in the families that purchase them because they're, first of all, real good pianos. Second of all, are rare and have a real rich history behind them, so uh, it's real rare to get your hands on one. But uh, in any case, uh, just chime in and let me know what you think. Thanks a bunch.